Conclusion We have attempted, in this paper, to survey the various ways in which the Lotus Sutra and Tendai Thought influenced or provided background to Shinran's interpretation of Pure Land teaching. Here I wish to express my appreciation to Professor Hishiao Inagaki for his insights and suggestions in clarifying various points. In his interpretation of Pure Land Thought, Shinran did not directly attack or criticize the Tendai or other contemporary traditions, or quote from the Lotus Sutra itself. Rather, he addressed the major issues raised in that tradition and formulated a comprehensive alternative. He deepened the philosophical basis of Pure Land teaching, establishing the supremacy of the teaching as the universal true way to enlightenment. On the basis of his own religious experience, he explicated the grounds for the assurance of deliverance for even the most evil person. He thus dealt with the external basis of deliverance in the cosmos and the internal expression and witness of deliverance in personal life. The two aspects are joined and united in our endowed trust or Shinjin through the recitation of the Nembutsu as the name which manifests the source, and as our grateful testimony to the wisdom and compassion revealed in our lives. The comprehensiveness and spiritual keenness that marks Shinran's interpretation provides us with a firm basis for addressing modern problems of the meaning of life and of religious faith in a dark time. He indicates that we can have firm convictions without vindictiveness, we can be realistic without despair, and we can share the teaching without fear of rejection. Above all, we can be inspired and challenged by the vast vision of Amida Buddha as the true essence of all reality and the foundation of all our hopes.